right, I figured that I would take a quick look here at Alien Isolation's last survivor, since not everybody has access to this, because it was one of the GameStop pre-order bonuses, exclusively here in America. I understand that in other parts of the world, you've got both Crew Expendable and Last Survivor, but... Uh, and you can buy Last Survivor as DLC, and that's maybe why you're interested to check it out. Um, if the graphics look a bit strange to you, that is because I am playing in 3D using NVIDIA's compatibility mode, which is a reprojection method. I don't know if you've played uh, Crisis 2 or 3, the way they do 3D, or um, if you've played any other 3D vision titles that use this, like Battlefield 4, or Sniper Elite, or Bioshock Infinite. There might be others that use it, but those are the ones off the top of my head that I know. So I might point out a couple of things early on that those... Uh, well, you can tell. I'll point out why it looks strange, but um, as we load up this... I haven't actually played the regular single player yet. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. But it's kind of cool, obviously. If you've seen Alien, you'd recognize the... We're going to blow up the ship. We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Good. We're going to need coolant for the air support system. Alright, my microphone did not just cut Parker, off. I was just letting I powered up the shuttle. Stony do her thing. Have you got those coolant tanks ready? So if We're you look at like these tanks, you'll here. see there's like a weird blur even on, on one side of them. You can probably see that pretty clearly there. Um, that is the reprojection 3D. Um, you don't notice it so much when you're moving and when there's a seven foot tall alien trying to eat you, but um, people notice it at times. It does work very well in 3D using this method. Um, I will put this up on YouTube as a 3D video, so if you have 3D vision, you'll be able to. What check the hell it are out. you doing? Get down but, here! Um, most of you, I'm sure, won't be watching it in that way. So, yeah, they're uh, a little bit impatient with me right now, understandably so. Oh my God! notice there you see the the way that is kind of glitching back and forth that's again that's because of the reprojection 3d for those of you interested in that um, it basically takes it renders the game normally in 2d and then it projects that 2d image onto the geometry and then it shifts the camera a bit one way and then the other to get the two different eyes but that leaves these blind spots which it fills out by uh, stretching the things next to it. So that's why you kind of see this odd distortion, but I should stop talking or the alien is gonna kill me. So, uh, yeah, th this game looks really good. Um, it runs really well on PC, I was very happy to see it. Lambert? Lambert! Parker! But they've really done a fantastic job on it. The everything about it is just so true to Alien, especially this DLC. Um, oh shit! Is oh god! No! So, Ripley is a bit panicked because her crewmates are quite, quite oh god. dead. We will probably need that flamethrower fuel.
got through that bit not too badly. Don't know why I picked up the scrap. Please work. Thank you. Okay, so now I have to uh, hit this keyboard here. doing the other part where it grabs you and eats you from the face you get to do it lean forwards out of the TV and um, chop your face off which is very exciting um, for those of you that like those out of screen effects I am gonna actually adjust my brightness a little bit because it is a bit on the low side and I can't quite see we go. Um, I'm sorry if that's made it incredibly bright for you on uh, on my display. I could not see that logo until I reached that setting. So. Very, very nice. This out. And then there is an evil alien seven foot tall. to get all the way over here, which is quite a ways to go still. I think, I think we're in business. I think we're going to make it because I am not seeing anything right now. Now, when we make it, 
make it, if we make it, um, we will recognize, I'm sure, the self-destruct mechanism from the original alien that Ripley puts together at the... I think I just took a wrong turn. Nope. So close. At the end of Alien, she sets the self-destruct mechanism and it takes quite a while. Um, that's exactly how long it's going to take. Yeah, but it wasn't sure it's not a very well. Due to a much depleted crew, the Nostromo's warrant officer is in the process of collecting his mother. There is a somewhat high probability of her discovering Special Order 937. I am containing the incident. Now, when I beat this, the organism I did is deadly not and it's entirely likely that whatever the outcome, the alien was mining its, it's own business, but I could actually get you to this. But yeah, there she is pointing at the label. These buttons, which again, is all exactly the same as it is in A. So now, now we have to uh, go through this arduous process. What the heck is going to break loose once we're done here? Uh, this spaceship is going to start getting ready to self-destruct. And that means lots of alarms, lots of vents. And we will have to make it all the way back. All the way back. Which I don't know that I'm going to make it. Um, I probably won't start over if I don't, but we'll, we'll give it a go and uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I mean, all of this is just amazing fan service for any fan of okay. the game. This is it. Uh, they've done an amazing job with this DLC. If, if you didn't get it as a pre order bonus, I think they're about $4 each. They are quite short, as you'll see once we're. Uh, Done, because now, like I said, we just have to find our way back to where we started out. But, um... Danger. The emergency destruct system is now activated. The ship will detonate in T-5.